السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ رب العالمین الصلاۃ والسلام علی اشرف الانبیاء والمرسلین وعلى آله واصحابه اجمعین اللهم اجعلنا منهم من الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق ربی اللہ فقنا فدین اللہ فانا بما علم تنا و علم ناما فاؤنا و ضد نا علما اللہ ثبت نائند الموتی بلا الہ الا اللہ آمین یا رب العالمین لیسن نمبر ٹوینٹی سیون گوئنگ ٹو ہیو اینڈ fail mudar ya inshallah by the reason of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are going to start which is very interesting and fun let's start okay so fail mudar ya as you, we know that there are uh, only two kinds of uh, uh, fail uh, in uh, like uh, in arabic right we have fail madi and fail mudariya then we have fail amar uh, and passive and all that right but these means are main are madi and mudariya madi is just for the past and then uh, mudariya is for present and future right so that covers all and uh, fail mudariya is used to express action occurring in the present tense or future tense in terms of usage and uh, sentence structure all the rules of jumla failia apply when it comes to fail mudariya as well right so we learn so many different rules uh, when we were learning jumla failia uh, it can have outside doer right and uh, all uh, fail always have uh, a file and uh, mafulun bihi right all these different kinds of mafuls uh, it can have so everything gonna be remain same right so just uh, when we are learning fil mudariya we uh, uh, we know that it is going to conjugate differently otherwise uh, everything gonna be same right uh, in fil madi we we can use uh, uh, we can attach attach pronoun with it right and it can uh, take outside doer so all that stuff is going to remain same uh, uh, just the conjugation gonna be different so fail mudar you recall that when it comes to fail madi only the ending changed right so we said hua naswa ra so this is uh, the last letter is taking ra fatha then we say when it comes to huma we say nas naswa ra right with alif and this alif is basically the file this alif is kind of indicating that uh, um, the pronoun inside is huma and then for whom we we would say naswa ru so this wow at the end is telling us that uh, this uh, fail is plural it is indicating to whom so they helped so all ending uh, then we say, uh, we see naswarat naswarata naswarna right all the endings so uh, in the beginning we were not making any changes in fail madi but this is not the case fail, uh, for fail mudariya in fail mutaria we have to tackle both uh, beginning and ending so we need to look at the beginning how it is starting how it is uh, the fail is starting and how it is ending 
So we need to look both sides. So hua, we say in Madi, it's gonna be hua nasara, but when we go to film Daria, it would be hua yang suru, hua yang suru. So now what is happening over here? We put ya in the beginning when we are making hua version. So it is going to take ya in the beginning and it is going to have u sound at the end. So fail madi was uh, taking a sound, right? And fail mudaya would take what? U sound. So this is how we can differentiate. And then it will have a uh, ending. Uh, sorry, it will have certain words in the uh, certain, sorry, a herf in the beginning. And what are these herf could be? It could be a leaf. It could be noon. It could be ya. And it could be ta. And we can remember one word, anita. Okay, so we can make this a word, anita. So if you see anita beginning, so we should know that, okay, this is going to be fail mudaria. And how we translate fail mudaria? in present or in future. So who are young Suru, we're gonna say he helps or he will help. Who are young Suru would be he helps or he will help. And what beginning we are seeing, we are seeing Ya over here, right? So this is who are young Suru. Now, if I wanna say both of them help, or both of them will help. So I'm assigning someone that uh, uh, these two people are going to help this third person, right? So what word I, I can use? I'm gonna say, Huma would be Yansu Rani. Yansu Rani. So what is going, uh, uh, again, the beginning is Ya, and we are ending, uh, sorry, yeah, we are ending with Alif and Non. Right, and this alif is basically the file. The same like in uh, fail madi. Uh, 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 in fail madi, we have nasara. This alif was the file, right? In the same manners, in uh, fail mudaria, the alif is the file over here. That is telling us that this is the pair, and this noon is something different. This noon is basically, let me draw upon you guys. This noon is basically uh, telling us that this is the regular version of uh, fail mudaria. Because fail mudaria, unlike fail madi, it, it can be light or lightest version. It can take uh, a, a light or lightest version. So this is basically its uh, default. Uh, version. This is how Fail Mudaria should look like, but some sometimes, inshallah, soon we are going to learn that sometimes uh, something happened to these uh, fail and they are supposed to be light or lightest. So that is our uh, uh, later uh, study, inshallah. So this noon is telling us that this is the regular version and this alif is telling us that this is the file of uh, uh, Yansuru and this is uh, Huma version. So Hua Yansuru, Huma Yansu Rani, and then Hum would be Yansuruna. So again, Ya remain over there. So for masculine, for masculine, we are uh, keeping Ya in the beginning and the endings are changing. For uh, singular, for hua, we have just uh, u sound, nothing is added. Just to uh, nasara, we're having a fatha, but uh, in mudaria, we will say, we will take u sound, so that will um, make it yansuru. 
then uh, huma we are adding alif noon and for whom we are adding waw noon this waw is basically the file and what this noon is doing noon is telling us that this is the regular version of uh, fair mudaria so huma yansu runa Le uh, so let's take one word and we can do this uh, this masculine uh, practice okay so let's say if I have a word, kafara. Kafara, when it uh, comes to fail mudaria, it is going to uh, conjugate same like naswara because they are uh, same bab. Uh, and uh, you guys do not know yet about these babs. So uh, I would help you out on that. And inshallah, when we finish our nahu, then uh, come surf and in surf we are going to learn all these bab. So huwa yansuru, same is like huwa yakfuru. Huwa yakfuru. And huma would be yakfu rani and hum would be yakfu runa. Okay. Now if I ask you to do daraba, daraba becomes yadribu. So daraba becomes yad ribu. Now, did you notice that over here, now it is taking kasra. Okay, before the middle root letter. Changes ha happen only where? In the middle root letter, nowhere else, okay? So middle root letter sometimes can take fatha, sometimes it can take kasra, and sometimes it can take dhamma. The rest remains same. So daraba becomes yadribu. Now let's do it hua. Hua yadribu. Huma? Yadribani. Yadribani. Hum? Yadribuna. Yadribuna. And what is yadribu mean? Uh, he hit. He hit. He hit. He hits or he will hit. Okay. okay. Then Yadribani, both of them will hit. And Yadribuna, all of them will hit. Okay. So let's see now Zahaba. Zahaba will become Zahaba. Yes. Uh, Zahaba. Yes, Hibu. No, yes, Hibu. Yes, Habu. Yes, Habu. Okay, so that will become Yes, Habu. Okay, so let's do it. Hua. Yes, Habu. Yes, Habu. One person at a time. So we can have a smoother uh, recordings. Yes. Huma yes ha buna. Huma yes ha buna. Huma yes ha and no, hum yes no, no, no. Okay. So what's gonna happen? We cannot take u sound with alif. We have to add alif and noon, right? Mm -hmm. So when we are doing that, we cannot keep this uh, dhamma. We need to change into what? Fatha. Fatha. Okay, so we will say yes ha bani. Huma yes ha bani. And whom? Yes ha buna. Yes ha buna. Okay, one more time. Hua? Hua yes ha buna. Go ahead. Hua yes ha buna. Hum yes ha buna. One more time. Huwa yes habu, huma yes hub yes habani, hum yes habuna. Yes, that makes sense. Perfect. Okay, now if I ask you uh, with the word amana, so amana will become <coughs> what? Any idea? Yaminu. Yaminu. No. Amana. Yaminu. Yaminu. No. Yuk minu. Yuk minu. 
ट्रांसलेशन फॉर यू मिनोना they believe they, they believe. will believe they, they will believe. believe they will believe okay and uh, you me nani they both of them um believe yes both of them believe will believe okay so we are good with this uh, message okay now let's move to feminine now and we are doing what person we are doing here here third person <coughs> we are doing third person we did third person masculine and now we are doing third person feminine right so now when we comes to here here is a lady right so we need to remember that instead of ya we are going to take the we know that here Here is basically tamar bhuta. We can remember uh, here, right? As a tamar bhuta, and then we can remember that it is going to start with ta, since this is a lady, right? So here tam suru. So just the beginning is, is different than hua. The rest is same. It is going to end on o sound, right? So here tam suru. now huma same thing just ta and we are adding alif noon right what is the alif stand for file 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 yeah. and what is noon standing for regular version regular version that this is the regular version of fil bari <laughs> okay so huma would be tansu rani and uh, now comes hunna hunna is a trend setter we know that right we discuss when we were doing fail uh, madi so same thing gonna happen same rule apply over here what was the uh, demand of hunna in so fail madi yes so yeah so it always wants spoon on the letter before yeah. this noon on this word this is the sign for uh, hunna right so uh, before this sign hunna always want skoon so that makes it yan surna hunna yan surna and now see we are not having ta over here that is the mistake we um, mostly make because we were having ta ta and now suddenly hunna comes and we are changing into ya so we need to remember this change okay so when we are making hunna instead of uh, ta it will take ya we can remember that uh, uh, maybe we can think uh, hum is a plural right for plural we are having ta but then not in uh, uh, antunna again it is or we can think that okay hunna we have to make a different hunna and antunna right so in antunna it is taking ta but hunna it is taking ya so we can remember this way so hunna would be yan surna so let's do our third person with these words so now kafara was yakfuru right so let's do it who is ready masculine and both words uh, go ahead hiya uh, takfuru hua hua we need to start from hua and uh, we need to do masculine and feminine both okay hua yak yak firu no not yak firu yak furu yak Same furu like yeah hua okay. yak furu huma hmm. yak furani hum hmm. yak firuna yak furuna we are not changing any sign any harika harika remain same 
Okay. Okay. So one more time. Hua yakfuru. Hua yakfuru. Homa yakfurani. Hum yakfuruna. Hmm. Hia takfuru. Hmm. Homa uh, takfurani. Hmm. Honna yakfiru yakfirna. No. Honna yak yak yonna yak furinna. No, Yakfurna. Yakfurna, sorry. Yakfurna. So we yep. need to remember that middle root letter is taking U sound. So this U sound will remain. We cannot make changes in this middle root sound. Okay. Okay, so that would be Yakfurna. 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 Okay, so now, oops. Okay, next word is. Uh, uh, Zahaba Yazhabu, right? So let's do with Yazhabu. Can I say? Yeah, go ahead. Hua Yazhabu. Hua. No, no. Zahaba Yazhabu, right? Not who. Zahaba Yazhabu. So now yes. this time it is taking Fatha. The middle root letter is taking Fatha okay. this time, okay? So Hua Yazhabu. Homa yaz habani. Hom yaz habuna. Here does hab. Boo. Boo. Homa does habani. Hona yaz yaz hab. Yaz habna. Very good. Hona yaz habna. What is yaz habna mean? So Zahaba mean he went. Yeah. Hey. All these ladies. They will go. They ladies one. They they go. They will go. go, go. Okay, perfect. Now, Amana you minu. So let's do it. Amana you minu. Who is ready? Can I go ahead? <laughs> Hua yud minu, huma minani, hum yud minuna. Very good. Hia tu minu, huma tu minani, huna huna yud yud minna, yud minna. Now, yes. since we have two noons now, so what's going to happen? How are we going to write you, Minna? This is uh, how it to be. Tajweed on the... Uh, tash, tashdeed. Tashdeed on the set. Shut down the set. Yeah, so this is how it will go. You, Minna. You, Minna. Okay. Okay, now... Uh, do we have more word? We did all four. Okay. So now let's move on. Uh, now we are on second person. Second person. Uh, what gonna happen? This is anta antumantum, anti antumantuna, right? Mm -hmm. So now anta, we can think of that this ta we are taking uh, for. Uh, the beginning. So anta would be tam suru, same like here. So basically here and anta, they are going to overlap. But this is not inshallah going to be any issue. The context uh, uh, of the sen uh, sentence can help us out that if it is talking about uh, here or it is talking about anta. Mm -hmm. So anta would be tam suru, antuma tam surani, same thing. Now, antum would be tansuruna. So now what happened? Uh, we can see that uh, whom was yansuruna, plural, right? And now antum, just what we are uh, changing, the beginning, yeah. right? So whom would be yansuruna and uh, antum would be tansuruna, right? 
Antuma, we know that this is dual. So we are just adding alif noon at the end. For plural, we are adding vow noon. So we, this is basically the rule we should remember. For pair, what we are going to add at the end? Alif noon. Beginning can be different, right? Beginning, we can see that uh, mm -hmm. uh, for Huma is Ya. For uh, he, uh, the for the here version it is the for uh, uh, for these uh, masculine and feminine second person both are taking the right so but we we should know that uh, uh, the ending is uh, kind of fixed because what is ending uh, referring to ending is is referring to what is the file. And ended, uh, ending is giving us the version, if it is the regular version or the light version or the lightest version. So now, uh, anta, tansuru, antuma, tansurani, and antum would be tansuruna, right? So let's do with uh, uh, zahaba. So anta, would be tazhab tazhab anta tazhabu antuma taz no tazhabu ani what we are supposed to do in dual ani we need to add alif noon right ani since there is alif Right, so we cannot uh, keep the dhamma over there. We need to keep, uh, change this dhamma into what? Fatha. Right, so this is um, that will make it tazha uh, ban. And for antum, it will be tazha buna. So whatever haraka is in the middle root letter, that is going to remain throughout our 14 pronouns. We cannot change that uh, middle root letters haraka at all. Okay, we need to change accordingly. That's why uh, in um, uh, uh, for the last letter, we, need, we can make changes accordingly like we did yan surani or yan suruna, right? Uh, so, but uh, we cannot make any changes uh, in the mid, uh, in the uh, middle root letter. We need to remember that. Okay, so now anta is done. Let's do one more. Sorry. Okay, so amana yu minu. Amana. You minu. Let's do you minu. Okay, I think it's who are you minu? Huma you minani. Huma you minuna. Ya tu minu. Huma tu minani. Huma you minna. You minna. Very good. Anta tu minu. Antuma antuma tu minani. Antum. To menuna. Very good. Anti to menina. Mm -hmm. Antuma to menani. Antuna to menuna. To minna. To minna. So same it is like you minna. Huna was you minna. So we are just changing the beginning. So we will say you minna for Huna and to minna for Antuna. So just ta and ya, basically. Uh, the rest is all same. Good, alhamdulillah. And now for uh, our uh, our first person, ana anturu and nahnu nansuru. So how are we going to do with uh, uh, um, amana yuminu? So for ana, we are starting with, uh, 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 with the hamza. Okay, so it will make it, make it what? Aminu. Uh, Aminu. Uh, but. Yes. So, Ana. 
middle root letter is taking what sign? Is taking the star. Katra. So, yeah. So, Anna, Aminu, and Nahnu. No, Minu. No, Minu. No, Minu. Okay, let me write it down. So, it was you, Minu. The version is you, Minu, right? The Hua version. And do you guys notice that it is taking U sound? Okay. Why it is taking U sound? When a fail, uh, in, over here we, we have, uh, then we have uh, Naswara. How many root letter we have? Three. Moon, saw, then draw three, right? But if I say uh, this uh, amana has basically four amana, so this is a, a big mud. That means it has two alif. Nice. Okay. So amana now it has four letters. So when, whenever we are going to have a, a verb or a fail, which is having four letters, then it's mudaria is going to start with U. Okay, so this is the rule we can remember, inshallah. When we will do Bob, then uh, that would be more clear. So keeping that in mind, uh, Amana become U Minu. So now you minu. Now we need to bring Alif or Ana, right? What I'm trying. Oh, minu. Yes, it is going to take the ma over here. Minu. And since it has a Dhamma, then what's going to happen? It is going to take uh, basically uh, wow. Minu. Minu. Because actually, this uh, that is kind of more technical now. So, Amana. Basically, root letter, when we say the root letter is uh, alif, meem, and noom. So basically, alif is not a root letter ever. Whenever we see alif uh, uh, in any verb as a root letter, basically, either it is going to be wow or ya. So over here is basically this is wow. So that is, that's why when something uh, uh, like uh, we can see that uh, this vow is coming back over here. And we are bringing vow because this is Dhamma, right? So Dhamma and vow are more compatible. So that's why uh, it will become U Minu and this is how we are going to write. Okay. So now that is U Minu and what is Nahnu? No Minu. No, me no. So again, sorry. So again, noon will take uh, Dhamma and we have uh, Hamza and then no, me, no. U, me no, no, me no. Okay, so this is how it is going to go. Okay, now. Uh, can we do the whole conjugation with uh, Amana first and then we can move on to other uh, uh, fail? So, who is ready? Hua, 
هم هم سوري هو انا يؤمن هو يؤمن يؤمن يا هم يؤمنان هم يؤمنون يؤمن هم هي تؤمن هما تؤمنان هن يؤمنن يؤمنن يس انت تؤمن انتما تؤمنان انتم تؤمنون انتي تؤمنين انتما تؤمنان انتنا تؤمنن انا اؤمن اؤمن نحن نؤمن very good okay we forgot i forgot about this anti okay so anti is the uh, it is we can see it is uh, totally different way right it is tansu reena you me neena tazha be right so it is uh, uh, having ya and noon is it is taking for anti so we can remember it with the uh, anti surina right this anti is our anti we can change anti into anti and anti is uh, very surili surina okay so anti anti surina to make it different so whenever we come to uh, anti we need to remember that it is going to take ya noon okay it is totally different um mm, okay so now let's do with uh, daraba daraba yad ribu so who are yad ribu huma yad ribani hmm huma yad ribu na hmm ya tad ribu huma tad ribani huna yan yadu yadribna yes ha yad how we are going to write yad so we we need to start with ya okay after ya we are going to take whatever uh, letter is next one we are it is going to have uh, spoon and then what is the middle root letter always having yes, in daraba yad ribu so it is taking kasra yad and then what is the requirement for hunna Shantan. that whatever next letter is it is going to have skun so yad rib na hunna yad rib na okay now anta tad tad ribu tad ribu antum tad ribani antum tad ribu na anti tad ri Tadribina, Tadribina, Antoma, Tadribani, Antona, Tad, same like Huna, no, same like Huna, just we need to change the beginning. Yes, Taduribna, Huna, Tadribna. Sorry, Hunna Yadribna and Antuna Tadribna. Okay, so they are almost same. Just the beginning is uh, different. Then Anna Adribu Adribu. Yes, very good. Very good. Nahnu Nadribu. Very good. What is uh, Nadribu mean? Hit. Who hit? We hit. We hit. We hit or we hit. We hit. okay and if i say tad tadribina who hit tadribina you all you all no. hit family no tadribina you feminine who is on you feminine both of you anti you feminine okay. yes you you are you lady okay if i say uh, yad ribna yad ribna what is that hunna 
J family. Hunna. Hunna. If I say Tadu Ribna. All of you. Antunna. Antunna. If I say Yadribuna. Yadribuna. Whom? Yes, whom? Yadribuna. So just by listening, we can figure it out what pronoun is in inside. If I say tadru, uh, tad, uh, sorry, tadri buna. Antum. Antum. Because I said, I said ta in the beginning and una at the end. Okay, so we need to uh, keep that in our mind. Now let's do with uh, kafara. So kafara would be a furu. Hua yak yak furu. No, why yak furu? Yak furu. Yak furu. Yes. Homa yak furani. Hom yak yak furuna. Hm. Hia tak furu. Hm. Homa tak furani. Hm. Hunna yak fir yak firna. No. Yak furna. Sorry. Hm. Anta. Takfuru, mm -hmm. antuma takfurani, antum takfuru, takfuruna, mm -hmm. anti uh, uh, tak, anti takfuru, takfurina, mm -hmm. antuma takfurani, antuna takfurna, mm -hmm. ana akfiru, nahnu, no, nakfiru. not ana, ana. Ana Akfiru. No, why are you changing middle root letters? Uh, okay. okay, Ana Akfuru. 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 Nakfuru. Yes. Okay, so middle root letter, we need to be very careful. We cannot change that, uh, Harika. Okay. Oh, yeah. Perfect, Alhamdulillah. Okay. Did we did all four? Okay, so now let's just analyze what's going on. For, we can remember that uh, basically the singular one, which are the singular one, Hua, right? Hia, and Anta, Anti is different, but Ana, and even Nahnu, even though Nahnu is not uh, singular, but we can see they are all ending on U sounds. U sounds. Okay. So what, and that's why my uh, teacher, uh, Stada Asif used to say, five in your pocket. So you used to call them five in your pocket. Like um, mostly, they are mostly used one, right? So who are, is taking U sound, Hia is taking uh, U sound, Anta is taking U sound at the end, Ana and Nahnu. So Hua, Hia, Anta, Ana and Nahnu. So Yansuru, Tansuru, Tansuru, Ansuru, Nansuru. So again, one more time, Yansuru, Tansuru, Tansuru for Anta, Ansuru for and Nansuru. No, no, five in your pocket. So they are all ending on what? U sound. Okay. And now they are ending on U sound, but their beginning is either Ya, Ta, Alif, or Noon. So who is taking Ya sound, uh, Ya in a uh, beginning? Hua. Only Hua. Only Hua is taking Ya sound. Then we know that Hia and Anta, they are overlapping. So they are starting with Ta. And then Ana, we can easy to remember. So uh, Alif in the, uh, sorry, the Hamza in the beginning, we are keeping that, right? So Ansuru. And for Nahnu, Nahnu, we can take this known, right? And we are uh, having this Nansuru. Okay, if I say do five oh, yeah. in your pocket with Daraba, Yadribu, so who can do it? I can try. Okay, go ahead. 
Diatribu. Tadribu. 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 Adribu. Very good. So Yadribu, Tadribu, Tadribu, Adribu, and Nadribu. Okay, what is uh, Adribu mean? I hit. I. I hit. Okay, and Tadribu? She hit. Okay, or, Tadribu can be two. Anta hit. Okay, or Tadribu he, can be two. Or Hia or Anta. Yeah. Okay, so we need to remember that. Now, so these were uh, uh, five in your pocket. And then we have some, they are ending on Alif Noon, Alif Noon, and they are mostly all pairs, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. how we are going to differentiate uh, for uh, masculine, it is taking Ya beginning. Mm -hmm. Third person masculine, Ya beginning. And uh, for feminine, Ta beginning. Mm -hmm. For second person, both are ta, mm -hmm. right? And uh, we can see that, okay, basically, um, Tansurani, how many times? One, two, three times. Three times, right? So we have Huma, Tansurani, Huma, the Hia version, and then we have Antuma, and then we have... Uh, uh, Antuma feminine version. So three times we have Tansurani. But uh, inshallah, uh, the context is going to help us. Which one is uh, which? Then comes to plural. Plural, whom is uh, Yansuruna? And it is same like Antum Tansuruna. So the change is only the beginning, ya and ta. Ta is for antum and ya is for whom. And then for hunna and antunna, they are kind of same, just the beginning is different. Hunna would be yansurna and antunna would be tansurna. Does it make sense? Yeah. yeah, there's just one abnormal uh, one, like anti tansurina. Anti, right? yeah. Then anti is uh, all different. Okay, and we can remember it with the uh, anti surina. So whenever we are on anti, we need to make it surina. Okay, now uh, the same thing over here. We need to remember that hua is taking ya and u sound. Hia is taking ta and u sound. Anta is taking ta and u sound, and uh, then anti is taking ta and ina sound, right? And ana is taking a and u, and nahnu is taking na and nu, right? Then uh, antunna and hunna, we already did that, right? So we can keep these things in our mind whenever we are conjugating, okay? So kind of we have to memorize them. So let's do some more practice over here. Kataba becomes yaktubu. So again, it is same like nasara yansuru, right? So kataba becomes what? Yaktubu. So let's do that. Who can do it yaktubu? If you guys need this chart, we can keep this one over here. I can try. Uh, Humara, can you be louder? I think you are uh, far from my... I'm sorry. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Huma yaktubani. Hum yaktubuna. Hiya taktubu. Hmm. Huma taktubani, hmm. hunna yaktubna, hmm. anta taktubu, antuba, antuma taktubani, ant, uh, antum taktubuna, hmm. anti taktubina, antuma hmm. taktubani, hmm. antunna yaktubna, taktubna, T uh, taktubna, uh, hmm. ana, ana uh, aktubu, 
نحن نكتب ويري جود الحمد لله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله بارك الله فيك امين بارك الله فيك سبحان الله بارك الله فيك اوكي ناو وات ايلز دو وي هاف سميع يسمع سميع ويل بيكم يسمع so we are uh, having the middle root letter is having fatha this time yes ma'u who, who is ready no try go ahead sarish who are you smaru homa yasmar ani hum yasmaruna ya tasmaru homa tas tasmarani hum hum yas hunna موسیقی انتما تسمع تسمع تسمعني انتما تسمع 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 Anna Asmao, Nahnu Nasmao. Mashallah, mashallah, beautifully done. Beautifully. Okay, so now if I say uh, Asmao, what does that mean? I heard. I, I heard. Oh, sorry, I hear yeah. or I yeah. am hearing or I will hear. Right? Okay. Uh, Nasmao. We we hear, we hear. We hear, we hear. Very good. Okay. Um, if I say yes, ma'na. Honda. Yes. They, they will hear or they hear. Very good. And uh, if I say yes, ma'una. They, they will hear or they hear. Home. So this is home. Beautiful. Okay. Perfect. Mashallah. Barakallahu fiki. Okay. Now, Allama becomes you, Allimo. And see now why it is taking you? Because Allama, how many letters in Allama? Four. Four. Right? Ayn, Lam, Lam, Meem. Four. So that's why in Mutaria it is you. Allama you allimu. Okay. So Allama you allimu. So let's do it. You allimu. Who are you allimu? Who are you allimu? Hmm? Who are you allimani? Hmm? You allimuna. Here to allimu. Who are you allimani? Who are you allimna? No, Hunna Hunna Yolimna. No, so Alimna. So we have only Muna. You and then Alim Muna. So we need to just this is uh, uh, basically you can say you Alimu, right? If we go to Hua version, that is you allimu. And now we are at Hunna. What we need to do, we need to add Limna. Noon over here. And what is the requirement for putting Noon over here for Hunna? Hunna wants that before this Noon, we need to have Sukun. a Sukun. Sukun. Okay, so that we make it you allimna. Okay. okay, so always go to Hua version and just put Skun on the last letter and add Noon. This is how we will get to Hunna. Oh. So Hunna, you are Limna. Hunna, you are Limna. 
انت تعلم انتما تعلمان انتم تعلمون انت انت تعلمين انتما تعلمان then antunna tuallimna very good ana ana so we need to have u noun in the beginning ana uallimu very good uallimu this is how it is ana uallimu nuallimu very good alhamdulillah beautiful Uh, then we have next word aslama again how many letters four four, four. four. so daria will take what you sound the uh, the must sound right so that aslama will become useless okay so who is ready for uslimu who oh, are you can i try uh, okay let her try sarish who oh, are you Hoa yuslimu. Hoa yuslimu. Hoa yuslimani. Hoa yuslimuna. Hia tuslimu. Hoa tuslimani. Hoa yuslimna. Very good. Very good. Anta tuslimu. Antuma tuslimani. Antum tuslimuna. Anti tuslimina. Hmm. Antuma tuslimani, antuna tuslimna. Beautiful. Ana aslimu, nahnu. No, 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 no. Ana uslimu. Uslimu, sorry. Yes. Ana hanu nuslimu. Perfect, perfect. Love it. Okay, beautiful. Uh, next yeah. one. You jahid, uh, jahada again. How many? Jahada four, so you jahidu, you jahidu, and what is jahada mean? To struggle, to struggle, and you jahidu would would be he struggles or he will he struggle. struggle. Okay, what so is the yeah. meaning? What is kataba mean? He wrote. He wrote, and even sometimes it it, it comes as uh, obligation. Okay, yeah. when the, uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala ordained or command some uh, responsibility on uh, believers, he, this word is used, right? So this comes as uh, obligation as well. Then Samia, yes, he listened. He listens. Allama, yallimu. He taught. Uh, yeah, he he taught. Allama, he taught. Sister, how do you want to say that? Kataba. Yes, uh, I remember the ayah from uh, Surah Bakra. It doesn't say kata, but it says kutiba. So yeah, uh, that, that is majhul. That is uh, uh, passive. passive. Okay, okay. Yeah, we will learn later. This is Adil. Why? Okay. Okay. Now, Aslama. He submitted. Yeah, he submitted. Okay, and the Muslim word comes from here. Muslim mean the one who submits completely. So, Subhanallah, we call ourselves Muslim. That means we are totally uh, in the submission of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. This is Muslim mean. And then jahada, you jahidu mean to uh, struggle. Okay, so now we are on uh, you jahidu. So, who is ready? You jahidu. You jahidu. You jahidani. Who are you jahidu? Who are you jahidani? Who are you jahiduna? Who are you jahidu? Who are you jahidani? Who are you jahidna? Very good, beautiful. Anta to jahidu, antuma to jahidani, antum to jahiduna. Anti to Jahidina, Antuma to Jahidani, Antuna to Jahidna, Anna Ujahidu, Nahnu Nujahidu. 
Good. MashaAllah. Mumtaz. Mumtaz. Okay, now. Um, uh, ya takabbaru. So takabbaru. Now uh, we need to be aware of that sometimes some uh, mold or some container or some uh, like bath, we will see that it already takes ta. So we cannot think that, oh, this takabba ra is uh, look like mudaria to us because it is starting with ta. But then we need to look at in the end. It is not taking oo sound. Rather, it is fatha. So that means this is not mudariya. This is what? Madi. Because some container, some bab, they are going to start with the. Inshallah, that we are going to learn in surf. So this takabbara is madi. And then its mudariya would be yata kabbaru. So, Takabara. Mudari will end on Dhamma, Sisra? Yeah, Mudari always ends on Dhamma. Okay, good. And Madi always ends on Fatha. Okay, so that this is how we can differentiate between them. Madi. So, the Mudari is this one. Yatta Kabbaru. Okay. Yes, yeah. So, and if we want to say Yatta Kabbaru and then Tata Kabbaru, right? When it comes to Hiya and Danta version, it will take two tas. So let's do that. Takabbaru uh, becomes a yatakabbaru. Who is ready? Can I do, sister? I try. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Can we go back to that chart? Okay. Huwa yatakabbaru. Huma yatakabbarani. Yatakabbarani. Hum yatakabbaruna. Hiya tatakabbaru, huma tatakaburani, hunna. No, not bu. Burani. Uh, we were saying yatakabbaru, right? So middle root letter is with, uh, taking fatha. So we need to remain this with this fatha. So huma tatakabbarani. Huma tatakabbarani, hunna yat yat. Yat yata yata kabarna yata kabarna hunna yata kabarna yes. anta tata kabaru antuma tata kaburani tata kaburani yata tata kabarani okay antuma tata kabarani antum tata kaburuna Kabba, no, we, you keep changing this middle root uh, sound. Keep this ba with fatha. So, tata kabba runa. Tata kabba runa. Hmm. Antum tata kabba runa. Hmm. Anti tata kabbu rina. No, no, not u. Tata kabba rina. Tata kabba rina. Hmm. Antuma tata kabarani. Hmm. Antuna takabarna. Tata uh, takabarna. Ta, yeah, takabarna. Takabarna. Ana ak, akbaru. Uh, Atakabaru. Atakabaru. Ana atakabaru. Nahnu natakabaru. Okay, what did we do with an, uh, Antunna? Uh, uh, what, what was Hunna? Yatakab. Yatakabarna, right? Yatakabarna. So, what would be Antunna? Sorry. Uh, Tatakabarna. Yes. Yatakabarna. Okay, I'm keep messing here. Yata kabbar, sorry, kabbarna. Yata kabbarna, right? Yes. And that would be tata kabbarna. And then ana, ata kabbaru. 
So, a, ta, kabba, ru, and nata kabba ru. Nata kabba ru. Okay, this is how it will go. Okay. Okay. Uh, we pass the time. So let's do just one last. So is tamsaka, we did in this uh, kind of pattern. So let's try this one. Is tamsaka will become yes tamsiku. So yes tamsiku. Now we can conjugate. Okay. Yes tamsiku. Hmm? Why yes? Yes tamsiku. Hmm? Oma yes tamsikani. Hmm? Hom yes tamsikuna. Hmm? Hiya tas uh, tamsiku. Hmm? Homa uh, homa tas tamsikani. Hunna, yes, tam sikna, yes, hunna, yes, tam sikna, yes, yes, tam sikna. So just hunna, we need to give spoon on the last letter. Okay. Anta, das tam sik, tam, das tam siku, antuma, das tam sikani. Antum tas tas tam sikuna. Yes. Anti tas tam tam anti tam tas tam kina. Kina. Yes. Very good. Antuma tas tam sikani. Hmm. Antuna tas tas tam sikna. Very good, very good. Alhamdulillah. Tas tam sikna. Tam ana us tam sik us tam siku. No, no, it's not taking u sound. As tam ana is taking starting with a fatha. We whoever was. Is tamsaka yes tamsiku, right? So this mudariya is taking a sound. So we cannot change into u sound at ana, right? Okay. So ana. As tamsika. As as uh, as tamsiku. Siku. Ana as tamsiku nahnu. Uh, uh, nus tamsiku. No, why nu? Nas tam. Uh, sorry, nas tamsiku. Nas tamsiku. Okay, yeah. so. All the beginning was taking uh, fatha sound, so we need to keep that. Okay. Yeah. So as tamsiku and nas tamsiku. Very nas good. Mashallah. Beautiful. Mumtaz. <laughs> okay. Now, talavama yatalavamu. Let's do this last one because uh, that is also different. We didn't try. So talavama would become yatalavamu. So it is starting with ya, uh, and ya is having what? Fatha. And middle root letter is basically this vow, and this vow having fatha as well. So we have all fathas, okay? So let's do that. Yatalavamu. So hua yatalavamu. Huma yatalava mani. Yatalava muna. Yatalava muna. Hia. Hia. Tatalava. Tatalava mu. Tatalava mu. Tatalava mu. Tatalava mu. Huma. Wait, wait, wait. So, what was our version? 
Right? That was the version. Now, what's going to happen? We have to give this uh, last letter, spoon, and we need to bring noon. So, what that make? Yata la vamna. Vamna. Yata la vamna. Okay? So, always go to Hua version. When we are confused, go to Hua version. Put spoon on the last letter and uh, put noon over there. And you will get Hunna. Yata la vamna. And then, Anta. Anta tata la vamna. Very good. Anti Limuna. Tata lava mina. Tata lava mina. Anti Tata li mina. Mina. Anti tata lava mina. Tata lava mina. Yes. Antuma tata tata lima. Tata lava. Tata lava mina. Vamna. Ani. Ani. And then Antuna. Tata. Tata la vamna. Tata la vamna. Tata la vamna. Anna? Anna? Very good. Nahanu? Nata la vamu. Very good. Mumtaz Jiddan. Beautiful. What's the meaning of yata la vamu? To blame. So they were blaming each other. Blame, blame. Okay. Yeah. Okay, How so about the letter before? before. Sorry? What is the letter, the meaning of the letter before? Yes, ta, yes tam sika. To hold on, like, uh, oh, Allah yes, Allah say, yeah, to hold on something. Like, Allah, yeah, Allah say, I, was, I was holding their hands um, to harm you, like, uh, mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used this word that I always keep them back so they mm, cannot hurt you. you yeah yeah and sister okay. yata kabbaru to to be arrogant arrogant yeah we we know this word takabbu right yeah yeah okay so yes tapshiruna let's do it quickly this exercise even though we are out of time so yes tapshiruna what are the uh, um, pronoun in it um, um. Um. Hmm. Okay, how do we know this is whom? Why not yeah, Antuma? Una. Yeah, and Una. Wow, okay, una. but why not Antum? Antum also and on Una. Because of the wow, wow. Oh, yeah, 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 and <laughs> Okay, so yes, Tapshiruna, if you are saying this is Una and that's why you are saying this is whom? Yeah, yeah, the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, beginning. So we need to look at two things. Ya beginning and una ending, then it is home. Otherwise, it could be if it is ta beginning, then it could be what? If yes, if it is the stapiruna, then it will be antum. Okay? Now, yaktumu. Yak to Modi, ya beginning, and who? So this is who. Okay, then Nunazilu. Nahanu. 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 Because we have the beginning and then Nahanu. Okay, to me, Nuna. Very good. Yes, Rikna. Yes, Rikna. Unna. Unna. So it is Unna. Unna. Very good. Yeah. This is 
and what would be an antunna version tasrikna tasrikna so yasrikna and tasrikna now yata rajani वेरी गुड so either hiya or anta very good unabbi you ana ana version ana very good okay yashaduna hum 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 very good what would be anto what would be the antum version tashaduna tashaduna tash tashaduna very good to jadilu hua kya hiya aur antya okay this is the yeah 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 so the uh, either hiya or anta okay so that's all for today inshallah rest uh, we can do next class and what is going to be homework we did all these orally right so now uh, as a homework you guys are going to write them down okay so almost all are same just few are new like yes you do or ya bo do are new so these are 10 words you guys are going to conjugate them and i would love if you do past and present both so this is how you will be more uh, uh, stronger and you can comparison um, uh, with the amadi and mudarya right so i would highly recommend that uh, you go with madhi and mudarya both way and then okay forget about this homework number 2 because uh, um is that about uh, pronoun no no it's not about pronoun then you guys can do it okay so this is basically uh, the extra prac practice and i see that you guys are all quiet no one is uh, doing anything and now we are on a critical stage so only these 10 or uh, i don't know how many people you are today how many we are here 16 wow subhanallah <laughs> okay so this is not how it gonna work only these uh, out of these 16 only six will remain at the end okay so i don't want that uh, so you guys need to take homework seriously if you're really serious to uh, for this study inshallah sister rahat i have a question about the last homework i tried to attempt it but i didn't finish it actually um there was a word raita mm-hmm. i couldn't do the conjugation of that raita uh is it something so, um, so this is basically raa so this is going to be ra then uh, hamza ra-a. then what that is ra-a. going to be hard okay so raa and then raa ya this is hua version right Yes. and then it's uh, huma version b ra a ya <laughs> okay actually you wrote down the uh, of all like the all the fail in the uh, so munafiqun and i tried to pick them so you you did raita so i just started with the raita without looking because it is ending on ta uh, so this yeah. is anta right okay so we're not going to take that it's going to yeah. be ra hamza and ya yes so ra a is hua version then ra a ya and then ra u basically ra u can be ra ra a u no ra u that is going to conjugate differently because uh, you know uh, it is weak verb and then it has hamza in the beginning so so much going on in this verb but we can see when you see raaita 
you can see that okay it is ending on ta right right kun ta after hunna this is the pattern right we always have spoon and then ta tuma tum ti tuma tunna right right so that can help you that okay this is anta okay right ta is anta okay then i'm going to drop this one then attempt something else. yeah because uh, we are not ready for that yet okay is that it Right. Rahat, I have a question, please. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I, allama, and then you allimu. So, how did the kasra got to um, in in you allimu? It, it, this is Bab uh, Humara. We we are uh, supposed to learn all six uh, different kind of Bab, where uh, when we are uh, going from Madi to Mudaria, sometimes the middle root letter is going to take Fatha, sometimes Kasra, and sometimes uh, uh, Dhamma. And then we have other Babs, like uh, that is called Mazid Fihi. They are almost uh, um, uh, 10 Bab over there. So they have their own pattern. So basically, whenever we have uh, this uh, pattern, Allama, when the middle root letter is having uh, uh, this shadda allama, this is uh, madi, and when we are turning that into uh, mudaria, it is always going to be u, and then allimu. So this middle root letter is always going to have kasra, and the beginning is, is always going to have u sound. So is it because of the shadda on the third no, letter, on no, the second letter? It, it, this is basically bab. Oh. Okay, this is the bab. Uh, when we will go to surf, then we are going to learn about them. So for Allah, you file. Hmm. So for example, if I say kabbara. Kabbiru. Kabbara will become you kabbiru. Okay. So this is how, this is basically some pattern, some bab that they conjugate like that. Okay, inshallah with that we can end our session. Barakallahu li wa lakum fi al-Qur'an al-Hakim wa nafani wa iyaakum fi ayati wa fi fi hakim fi Allahumma wa bihamdika نشهد ان لا اله الا انت ونستغفرك ونتوب اليك سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين جزاك الله خير سستر جزاك الله خير سستر راحت وياك جزاك الله خير Okay.